Hello everyone and very welcome to the channel. Kurage is a Japanese word for jellyfish and now we have a model with that name. This model Kurage is a fine tuned version of Unto 7 billion instruct model which is one of the most popular model out there in the recent days. Unto's quality has already been proven in lots of benchmarks and we covered this model Unto I mean in various videos from different angles. This model has been trained to perform RAG in 44 languages. Kurage's RAG performance not only deals with multi-chunk but it also equally is good at single chunk ragging, answer extension, multilingual rag and question answer generation. When we say rag, rag simply means retrieval augmented generation or in simple words, it means providing your own data to large language model for more grounded context. This Kurage model has been trained to perform RAG in 44 languages, which is, I believe, one of the unique features of this model. And these languages are from across the world. You have Swahili language, you have Tamil language, you have Russian, you have Chinese, you have Yoruba, you have Urdu, you have uh, Spanish, you have Korean, you have English, Finnish, Turkish, French, and the list goes on and on, which is quite good. So really good to see that it has a representation from across the world. Now, as I said that this model is really cool at doing multi-chunk ragging, single chunk ragging and lo lot of other stuff. The difference between multi-chunk rag and single chunk rag is that in multi-chunk, it performs a rag using multiple contexts at once. And we will also see an example of it when we install it lo locally shortly. In single chunk rag, it performs rag using one context at a time that enables for parallel computing. Now, another cool thing is that it comes in three versions. There is a multilingual model which supports 44 languages. There is an English model specifically for English. And then they have also built some specific language specific models for Arabic, Spanish, Hindi, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Thai, Swahili, Vietnamese and Chinese. And last but not least, they have also shared the training data, which is really awesome. So it seems to be a real open source model, which is geared towards RAG. Before I show you the installation and show you how you can do the RAG with it, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Let me quickly show you my system. This is where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and let me quickly show you my GPU card which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Let me first create a virtual environment with Konda. I'm just calling it KR. Let's wait for it to get created. Konda environment is done. Let me create some of the prerequisites. So for that, I'm just going with Torch, Transformers, and I'm also installing VLLM. And that is how we are going to test out this model. So let's wait for it to finish installing all of these. This is going to take a couple of minutes. So all the prerequisites are done. Let me now launch my Jupyter Notebook and then we will download and then play with this model in the browser environment. Our Jupyter Notebook is launched and let's first import the libraries which we have just installed. And as I mentioned earlier, we will be using VLLM to do the inference with the model. VLLM is a very high throughput and memory efficient inference and serving engine. I already have covered it in great detail on the model, so please check it out. The model is being downloaded, so let's wait for it to finish. And it seems there are four shards of it, so around I would say 16 gig of size. So make sure you have around 24 gig of size of VRAM. 
so the model has been downloaded next up let me show you how can we do multi chunk rag with this model so we are just defining a simple function to define the rag prompt you can alter it as per your own requirement but i would suggest just keep it as is and then this is where multi chunk uh, with multiple context rag is happening so in every line we have a context you can all of course replace it with your own document or files so there is there are four lines in it there are four contexts in it it is just a list or array and then the question is what is Jap uh, japan's primary income balance currently and then we are creating the rag prompt we are generating the output from the model and printing it out and there you go so it has went through all these four and then from there it has grabbed two references and the answer is 4.4 trillion yen so if you go through this data that this is a surplus and then it has just went through all of these and then grabbed the data so how good is that so now if you really think about it you don't have to build your um, rag pipeline as such with every component these things are now coming embedded into the model most of the things i would say in the next example let me show you the single chunk rag which will go from one context at a time so we still have four context this is our question and then we are just uh, looping through the context so let me run it there you go and look at the speed from the masked compute so you see it says that one reference two reference three and four reference so it has gone through all of these documents and once you run it you get the answer which is 4.5 trillion yen from this reference and it has gone through all the context and has given you the very grounded answer so all in all very interesting model and as i mentioned earlier not only with english as you can see we have uh, this multilingual you can try out with 44 languages so this is the example of multilingual i just converted that to swahili language and then just provided the context in swahili i provided the question in swahili and then when you go down i just ran it it has loaded the model and then it has given me the answer in the uh, swahili language with the reference to so all in all really impressive model i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot Thank you for watching.